Hi everybody, time for a quick look inside Vancouver Public Schools. I'm Nick Fool. The SMT, or Science, Math, and Technology program at Skyview High School has long prepared kids for careers in tech. And one of their coolest programs is video game design. Recently, two groups of students were honored for their games. They competed in the Oregon Game Project Challenge, which gives kids a theme. And from there, students form teams designing their own video game and producing marketing materials. Two teams from Skyview earned a recognition of excellence. Sisters in STEM produced a game called Diver City, and Swamp made a game called Robovania. You can see those teams on your screen. The students are in a special after-school class taught by Kim Hansen. They had to apply to get in. I've always been a huge fan of games. I play them all the time, and I just decided it would be really cool to see how they work. They learned quickly how hard it is to build a game. Like I'd get an error in my game, and I'd look back on it and be like, oh, I forgot a parenthesis. And I like, really feel like that shouldn't have happened by, you know, learning how to like pay attention and not forget like small mistakes was um, something that I learned. It's amazing. Like some of these games seem like they're super simple and anybody could make them, but it takes weeks just to make a simple game like Pong. Beyond coding, students also needed graphic design, marketing and more. It was really cool to be able to bring other skills that you might not necessarily think are coding related, but are still able to bring your game to the next level, which was really cool. Most importantly, they needed teamwork. I learned a lot about working in a group with other people, both that I know and I don't know. It helped a lot just to see what it's like to work with people. They have to work together as a group, and we want those leadership skills for the kids. So it's all those 21st century skills, we want to build that into into what the class is about. That teamwork paid off as both teams earned top marks in the competition. Judges cited their artwork, gameplay, and videos. Ms. Hansen says the judges got it right. I'm amazed at it, the work that they do on it, the games they come up with. I don't know how they did it. I don't know if I could do it. To learn more about the Oregon Game Project Challenge, head to the website ogpc.info. You'll find out more about the contest and how to get involved. You can also find the entries from our local schools. You can see their videos and even get links to play their games for yourself online. Again, that's ogpc.info. And before we go, we also wanted to let you know that Kim Hansen, the teacher you just heard from, recently received the Regional Aspirations in Computer Educator Award from the National Center for Women in Technology. In addition, students from three Vancouver high schools were also honored. You can see their names on the screen right now. The student honors are for a variety of factors, including technical skills, attitude, and future plans. Congrats to Ms. Hansen and all of these outstanding students. And that's it for us. Thanks for watching this quick look. Until next time, I'm Nick Vole.